What's up guys, happy Monday, and welcome to another at-home workout. We have a banger of a workout to kick off the week. I am joined by Coach Susu to my right and Coach Marisa to my left. I didn't get the memo that it was camo Monday, uh, but if you'd like to put on a camo shirt to fit in with this, uh, this crew, by all means do so. We're gonna get right into a warm up, and we're gonna start with three rounds of four squat thrusts, four inchworms, and then four reverse lunges, okay? Let's follow along with me if you're at home. Here we go. Three, two, one. You're gonna kick back, kick up, hands overhead. Nice and slow. Just warming up. That's number two. That's number three. One more. That's number four. Good. We're now gonna take our feet shoulder width with straight legs. You're gonna reach for the floor and then walk forward all the way out. Good. Walk back. I'd like you to stand up. Put your hands on your hips and arch back. Good. Back down for two. Reach forward. Walk back. Good. We got two more. Last one. Number four. Good. Walk it back. Okay. We're going to do a reverse lunge. Okay. It means you're going to take a backward step. Right foot first with me. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Four, back to the squat thrust. Ready and begin. One, two, three, one more. Four, inchworms. Inchworms are great for getting the hamstrings activated and stretched out. Do your best to keep your legs as straight as you can as you walk forward and back. You have one more. And stand back to that reverse lunge. Been doing a good amount of lunges with the programming. I hope you know by now you can modify the range of motion if you need to. Good. Go back to round number three squat thrusts. Also, you can swap out the lunge entirely for some type of step up or a squat. Good. Last set of inchworms. That's one. Two. Three. One more. Okay, cool. Reverse lunge. Backward step. Two. Three. Okay, we're gonna keep our warm-up going. You're gonna go right into just some trunk rotations. It's okay to let your foot pivot, using your elbows to throw them behind you, get a little momentum, a nice little back twist. Okay, we're now going to go arm chops like this. If your chest is a little bit sore or a little tight, this is always a good one. A few more. All right, very good. We're going to do some arm circles, big and slow. We're going to go forwards first. And what you're trying to do is create a big range of motion through your arms. Give me two more. One, two, and now let's go backwards. Two, three, last one. Okay, it's time to go over and break down the workout. I think you guys will enjoy this one. Longer workout to kick off the week. So here it is, you just follow along with me. I'll, I'll talk slowly. We have a rep scheme of 50, 40, and then 30 with the sit-ups, okay? So you're gonna do 50 sit-ups, then 40 sit-ups, then 30 sit-ups. In between each set, you're gonna do 10 lateral burpees, either over a dumbbell, kettlebell. You see Coach Susu has a barbell out today. There's a barbell option as well. So again, just to be clear, 50 sit-ups, 10 burpees over the dumbbell. 40 sit-ups, 10 burpees. 30 sit-ups, 10 burpees. We then immediately go into the next part with no rest of 40 
30, 20 dumbbell snatches. But once again, after each set, you're gonna do 10 lateral burpees over the uh, dumbbell or kettlebell. So 40 snatches, 10 burpees, 30 snatches, 10 burpees, 20 snatches, 10 burpees. We then move to the final part, which is a 30, 20, 10 of dumbbell or kettlebell overhead lunges. And once again, after each set of lunges, you're gonna do 10 burpees over the dumbbell. The workout finishes with 10 burpees over the dumbbell, okay? So let's now break down the movements. And just a, a friendly reminder, in the YouTube description, if you actually click the description, you'll see the entire workout laid out for you, okay? Also in SugarWad, the entire workout is laid out for you. All right, so the workout kicks out uh, off with a sit-up. I'm gonna have Marisa just demo, feet and butterfly. Uh, think of like an overhead pass. She's gonna reach her hands back and then throw the ball and then reach high, okay? We're looking for a nice proud chest as you finish and making sure that we're getting a nice full range of motion with the arms going overhead and then reaching in front of the toes, okay? So we have 50 of those, okay? Let's show the burpee over the dumbbell. You guys will be doing lots of these today. So um, the setup is important. Just making sure that when you set up, your feet are right next to the dumbbell. Why that's important is when she kicks her feet back, she needs to be lined up with the dumbbell, okay? So just watch, she's gonna go burpee, kicks her feet up, and then hops over. That's one. Hops her feet up, over, good. Show us the squat thrust version. If you have a shoulder issue, or for whatever reason you can't go down, she can take out the push up. That's obviously a little bit easier. Okay, and then lastly, let's just do a step back. Step back, and then she can still hop over or step over, okay? So for whatever reason, jumping your feet back is uh, tough on your knees or you feel like a jarring motion, you could easily just make it a step, okay? So again, in the beginning, 50, 40, 30 with the sit-ups. After each set, you're gonna do 10 burpees over the dumbbell, okay? We're now gonna go to the dumbbell snatch. Again, once you finish the uh, first block, it's then 40, 30, 20 with dumbbell snatches. Maurice is gonna demonstrate two reps Every single rep, she alternates the hands, just like that, okay? Um, just breaking this down a bit further, you wanna feel your legs drive, accelerate, and then hips aggressively extend and punch out. Watch her do one more. Leg drive, hips, and then punch, okay? Also, when she comes up, the dumbbell stays nice and close to the body. It doesn't swing out away from you, okay? I'm gonna have her do two more reps where she now uh, exchanges the dumbbell with the, the free hand on the way down. This isn't mandatory, it's just a way to be more efficient and faster. Just watch these two. She's switching on the way down as opposed to resetting on the floor. Again, it's an option uh, if you'd like to move a little bit quicker. Last thing I'm gonna have her demonstrate, if you have a shoulder thing going on or maybe the dumbbell is too heavy to go overhead, we can just do the same style but make it a power clean. Okay, she's just gonna bring it to her shoulder as opposed to going up overhead, okay? Really quick, we know we have a lot of people at home with barbells. Susu is gonna use a barbell today. She's gonna to do a power snatch with the barbell. Okay, just like this. And then she comes back down. Nice. She's pushing herself a little bit with the weight. Rather than 40, 30, 20, I'm having her do 30, 20, 10, okay? Just an option again, if you have a heavier weight or you're using dumbbells. Uh, let's just turn that sideways. These are fun. If you have a barbell, the burpee over the barbell is a little bit higher. She's gonna kick her feet back, kick her feet up, and then she hops over. Again, if you're using a barbell, that's how it looks for the burpee, okay? The last block, we have 30, 20, 10 overhead lunges, okay? So I'm gonna have Marisa demo. She's gonna bring the dumbbell up overhead, and then she's gonna do a lunge where she alternates the stepping leg every time. Good, and rest, that was perfect. So you notice that she had the dumbbell locked out, and that's really where you have to put a lot of your focus, this nice straight arm punching out, and then she alternates the stepping foot, okay? Um, make sure that you're driving forward and, and taking a lengthy step. If you shortchange your step, that's when it gets hard. Uh, one modification, if the dumbbell is too heavy or you can't go overhead, she can do a front rack lunge, okay? Same deal where she alternates the foot every single time. Last modification, if you just can't lunge, period, we have a low box here, and she can do an alternating step up, just holding the dumbbell, same amount of reps. Perfect, okay, good. And then just going over how to break down the uh, lunges. 
for the set of 30, okay, we just need you to do 15 per arm, okay? How you want to break that up, entirely up to you. You can switch every five, you can do a set of 10 on each arm and then a set of five. As long as you do even reps per side, that's, that's cool. The same thing for the round of 20 and the same thing for the round of 10. Susu is going to do, because she doesn't have a dumbbell, she has a barbell. Rather than an overhead lunge, she's going to do a front rack lunge like this. Barbell at the shoulder and she goes forward and back the same way Coach Marisa was. Okay? These ladies are ready. I hope you are too. We're going to get this thing started. So we have 50, 40, 30 sit-ups, 10 burpees over the dumbbell after each set, then 30, I'm sorry, 40, 30, 20 of snatches and burpees, and then finally 30, 20, 10 overhead lunge and burpees. Let's do it. Okay, 10 seconds. We are starting with sit-ups. Susu's fired up. We'll see if that changes. Two, one, okay, 50 sit-ups to kick it off. So this is the start of a long workout. There's no need to blow out these first 50. You obviously want to move through them, but a nice controlled, steady pace. And remember, as you're sitting up, you're going to think proud chest, shoulders back. Good stuff. Another modification for the sit-up, if these numbers are a lot for you, you can grab your dumbbell and anchor your feet in, okay? It's a way to keep moving if, again, this number of sit-ups is a challenge. Lots of burpees today, okay? So each block has three sets of 10 burpees. My recommendation and strategy for that, don't blow out the first round. Find a pace on the burpees where you can keep moving, okay? Just a steady down, up, hop. Nice job. Looking good. Seuss is at 33. Where are you at, Maurice? Oh, wow. Neck and neck. These ladies are throwing down. It's a bloodbath in here. There you go. So after these 50, once again, you're moving to 10 lateral burpees over the dumbbell, barbell, or kettlebell. All right, nice job. All right, so Susu is on to her first set of 10. Maurice is right there with her. And if you're using that dumbbell, Focus on hopping those feet far enough forward out of the burpee so you're right in line with it. Great job, ladies. Just over two minutes on the clock. All right, well done. Again, after these 10 burpees, it's now back to the sit-ups, almost like they were doing those synchro, and it's now 40 reps, okay? So 40 reps on the sit-ups. Nice. Lots of core in these at-home workouts. I know I've been sore every time I do a workout. I hope you guys are feeling the benefits. All right, keep moving. We're just over the three minute mark. Nice job, okay. These ladies are moving through the 40. Remember, after the 40, you're back to 10 burpees over the dumbbell, kettlebell, or barbell. Nice job, Sue Sue. Yes, Marisa. All right. Marisa has 10 or so left. And 
Remember, where you can gain time on this workout is your transition. I want you to notice both of them, they come right up out of the sit-ups, a breath or two, and then right into burpees. With a lot of the workouts we do, where you can gain improvement on your fitness is how you transition. I know it's tough, but sometimes we take a lot of unnecessary rests. Just keep moving. Nice job, ladies. You get to this second set of burpees, find that rhythm once again. Nice. Okay, they are now on to their last set of sit-ups, okay? Everyone at home, you have 30 more sit-ups left before we move to the other set of burpees. The coaches have not had good luck with uh, shoelaces. <laughs> Coach Susu just had to stop and tie her shoes. Luckily, it hasn't happened to me yet. Don't jinx yourself. I just did. <laughs> okay, nicely done. Last set of sit-ups, if you feel like you can push the pace a little bit now, it's a good time to do that. I mentioned before Coach Susu is using a barbell today. I know a lot of members at home have a barbell. Feel free to adjust the reps to make it work for, uh, for with what you have, okay? On the, the snatches that are coming up, we should be able to do big chunks of reps. We challenge Coach, Coach Marisa to try to hang on and go unbroken. I'd say the same for you at home. If you're using a barbell, you might have to break a little bit more. That's okay. Nice job. They're now going to 10 burpees once again. Good job, ladies. All right, looking good, looking smooth. All right, Marisa. Yeah, Susu. Key with the burpees is aggressively sprawling those legs back, okay? That's gonna ensure that you're dropping to the floor and not doing that slow labored push up. You're now on to snatches, okay? The reps are now starting at 40. All right, Susu, yes, Marisa. And if you deal with any type of back stiffness or pain, you don't have to go to the floor with the snatches, that's the prescribed, but you can modify that and maybe do from the hang or just not as low, okay? So feel free, if you're feeling something in your back, just to scale the range of motion. Nice job. And you see Coach Maurice is in a really smooth rhythm with the, with the dumbbell. She's just going down and up. It's not too fast, but she's able to keep moving. That's key. 40 reps here. Job, Sue Sue. Sue Sue looking smooth with the lockout. Great job. Nice. Stay with it, Sue Sue. All right, looking good, Marisa. After the 40, we're back to 10 burpees over. Here we go, Sue Sue. Where you at? Nice, Marisa just finished up 40 reps. Again, burpees don't have to be fast, but I need you to stay in that rhythm and keep moving, okay? Breathe, just keep breathing. Let's 
Seuss is going to be getting close to finishing her set. All right, nice job. Yeah, she's done with her set. On to 10 burpees. Great job at home. Keep working. All right, Marisa. After the first round of snatches, you're then on to 30 snatches. Reps are getting a little less. Just another tip on the snatches or a range of motion thing. Really work hard to get your arms straight at the top, okay? Intensity is good and moving fast is good, but range of motion comes first, okay? That's how you get your shoulders strong. That's how you get better position. A nice straight arm at the top. All right, Susu, here we go. Here we go. We are 10 minutes into this workout. These ladies are crushing it. Nice. All right, Sue Sue, great work. All right, Marisa, done with her second set of snatches. Back to the burpees, you got it, Marisa. Guys, 11 minutes on the clock. Nice part about this workout, it, reps go down, right? So once you get that big set or two done, moving to less and less reps. All right. You can see Marisa has one set of snatches after this. I know those burpees are getting hard, guys. This is where you get better. Just keep moving. Nice work. All right, Marisa, last set of snatches. Let's go. You got it. Yes, Susu. Sue, Sue. All right, ladies. 12 minutes in. Okay, Susu is on her last set. Remember, her rep scheme today a little bit different. She's doing 30, 20, 10 with the barbell. It's appropriate because she's using a bit more weight. 55 pounds on the bar. All right, Marisa, nice job. There you go. All right, Marisa, right to those burpees. You got it. You finish those 20 snatches and you're done with snatches. We're then moving to the overhead lunge. Susu's done with her snatches. Nice. Remember, for the first set of lunges, reps start at 30. You just have to do 15 per side. How you want to break that up, entirely up to you. The dumbbell is light for you. You can do all 15 unbroken on one side and then switch to the other side for 15 more. Yep, 
Yeah, Sue Sue. All right, Maurice is going to pick up that dumbbell for her first set of lunges. Remember, don't shortchange the length of your step. A lot of the proper mechanics for the lunge starts with a generous step forward. Good, you see Marisa moving, moving smoothly. If you think about it from a weight perspective, this isn't testing your leg strength. It's testing the stability in your overhead position. Okay, so put a lot of focus into punching up on that dumbbell, okay, and keeping the arm nice and straight. Okay, Marisa, let's go. You got it. I'm gonna switch hands. I believe Marisa is doing a set of 10 on the right, a set of 10 on the left, which gives her 20, and then she'll go back for five and five. Nice barbell option, same amount of reps, but you just do front rack lunge. Nice job, Susu. All right, Marisa, here we go. You got it. We are 15 minutes into the workout. Great job at home. Keep pushing yourself. Let's go, Susu. Okay, right up, Marisa. You got it. Keep working, ladies. Another helpful tip for the lunges is just looking straight ahead, okay? If you start to look down, that will pull your torso forward. Okay, you can't keep an upright torso when you're doing that. Nice job, Marisa. Marisa's done with her first set of lunges. On to the burpees. All right, Susu. All right, Susu. Okay, Susu is done with her lunges. All right, ladies, come on, dig deep now. Come on, you're doing it. You're doing it, keep pushing. I think once you get to the set of 20 lunges, if you can try to hold on, do all 10 reps with that one side. I like that. All right, Marisa, come on. All right, Susu, killing those burpees, Susu. Nice. All right, Marisa. You got it, Marisa. You got it, Susu. Everyone at home, keep it up. Coming up on 18 minutes. If you're on that second set of lunges, you got to know that 20 minute workout, you can potentially go sub 20. Hang on. All right, Susu. Reese, you can go sub 20. Come on. You can. Let's go. All right. Just over 18 minutes, guys. Now, if you did the whole first round of, of lunges overhead and it starts to get hard, don't automatically default to scaling to the front rack. It's okay to break it up and slow down. I know it's a, a natural thing to want to go to a, a less difficult option when it starts to get hard. And if you need to, you can, but just know it's okay to take a break when you need to break. I'm less concerned with how fast you can do the workout 
more concerned with you moving with better mechanics. Always. Nice job, guys. All right. Coach Susu on her second set of lunges. Nice. Nice. All right, Marisa. Marisa's got one final set of 10 lunges. We can go five and five. All right, we are 19.30 in. Okay, keep working hard at home. All right. Marisa has got 10 burpees left and she is done. Just hit the 20 minute mark. You got it, Susu. -su. All right, Susu, -su, last set of lunges. Yeah, nice job, Marisa. Hang on, Susu. -su. I know everyone at home, if you're not done yet, I know you've got to be close. Keep going. We are almost there. Great job. All right, Susu's -su got 10 reps left. She's going to finish it out. Come on, Susu. -su. Up and over. That's it. One. Good. Two. Nice, that clock will continue to tick up, so don't worry if you're still working, you have work left, keep going, the clock is still going. There you go. All right, Susu. -su. And over there you go all right great job ladies behind me keep going at home keep going keep moving we're coming up on 22 minutes again when you finish the clock is running behind me just look at the clock to see your time nice job if you're on that last set of burpees Come on, just keep your head down and keep moving. There you go. That's it, finish strong. Leave no doubt in your mind that you finished as hard as you could. When the clock gets to 23, it will continue to tick up, but we're gonna go into our cool down and stretch. Again, if you're still going at home, do not stop. Keep working hard and finish out the workout. Nicely done. All right, that is 23 minutes. We're going to go into our stretch now. I'm going to have you ladies go flat on your backs. With all the lunges we just did, you're gonna do like a version of the, the pigeon stretch. So you're gonna see, you're gonna bend one leg, just like Coach Marisa, and then prop the other leg across the top. Hands go through that little window, and you're just pulling the knee into your chest, okay? You should feel a really nice stretch through the glute. Good, keep holding that stretch. Okay, let's switch it up. And 
keep holding this. It's about 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go into what's called uh, the bird dog, which is more of a, a recovery movement to kind of get, uh, restore the, the range of motion and get some blood flow into your back. Three, two, one. I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see at home. Ladies, you can come to all fours. And we're going to stay with moving the right arm and left leg, okay? So you guys can move with me. Out for one, you're going to hold that. Good, come in. Same arm, same leg. Out for two. Good, in. Out for three. Right arm, left leg. In. Out for four. In. Out for five. In. I'm going to go to eight. Out for six. In. Out for seven. In. Out for eight. In. Let's go to the other side. Out for one. In. Out for two. In. Out for three. In. Out for four. In. Out for five. In. Out for six. In. Out for seven. In. Last one. Out for eight. In. We're going to finish cat cow, okay? Just rounding and then arching. Keep moving. Round and then arch. Good. Let's get two more reps in, ladies. Shout out to these ladies, great job. A shout out to everyone at home. That's how you kick off your week. Great job. Keep up with all this stuff, keep moving, keep eating well, and we'll see you all tomorrow.